What's going on guys and welcome to the next weekly ramble video, the series where I just sit here and talk to you guys about what's going on in the world of magic and in the world of our little small community that we now have. Uh, and so we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Before we jump into it, I just want to mention we do still have our Guilds of Ravnica giveaway going on right now. Uh, all you have to do to enter, subscribe to the channel, comment literally on any video with hashtag GRN giveaway, uh, and you're entered to win. And what you could win is a free Guilds of Ravnica bundle. Uh, so pretty good value. All you have to do is sub. I mean, it's pretty easy. Uh, so definitely enter that. Uh, the winner will be chosen on Monday. Uh, so really just the weekend left to, uh, to enter. So I do encourage you to do that. Uh, should be a lot of fun. We always have a great turnout with these uh, giveaways. So we really appreciate all the fantastic support uh, as we go along. Now, a uh, couple things that I wanted to talk about. I've got my list over here. Uh, the first big thing is the... Uh, the signing of the deal with Amazon uh, from Wizards, which I don't know every little detail about this. Uh, I've just sort of been hearing bits and pieces, and I did a little bit of research myself, but essentially what it boils down to uh, is Wizards is actually signing a deal where they are selling directly to Amazon, uh, so that way they can basically sell straight from Amazon without putting the distributor in the middle or anything like that. Uh, and Wizards says, you know, this is great for the game, and it's going to get Magic product in the hands of people easier and things like that. And uh, I don't know that I really agree with that. Um, I feel like most everybody that I've heard uh, at least talk about this seems very, very against this. Uh, and <clears throat> some of you may be wondering why, if you're not really big into Magic especially, it may not seem like that big of a deal. Uh, but the problem is it cuts out local game stores significantly because distributors, while also selling to Amazon and things like that, they also sell uh, to local game stores. And a lot of that supply is now just going straight to Amazon. Uh, and so we're not actually going to get to see as much of it in the local game stores, which obviously means it's going to hurt sales, and that's not good. Uh, booster boxes really are not a great way to make money as far as local game stores go anyway. They're, the profit margin is already extraordinarily slim. Uh, the only reason I know that is I worked at one for a while. And um, you can really just ask any of the local game stores that you go to, and I'm sure they will say they really don't make much off of these. Uh, and so it's, it's a little bit weird that Wizards is trying to do this. Again, they're saying that it's trying to you know, move product into the hands of the consumer, uh, make people play at FNM more often, like do those kinds of things. But I feel like this, if anything, is pushing away from local game stores more than it's actually going to be moving people into it. So. I'm not a huge fan of this model, uh, not at all, in fact. Uh, they're doing the similar thing with Hasbro, where you know the Mythic Edition, whatever, uh, is only being sold at Hasbro, although I think they might have tailored that to Amazon as well. Uh, somebody can correct me in the comments, but uh, it just seems like bad decision-making all around right now for Wizards. It's, I feel like they're trying to pull out all the stops uh, with Guilds of Ravnica because they know this is such a... You know, it's a, it's a very looked after set in terms of Ravnica being a really, really big favorite for a lot of people, uh, that they're trying new things and they're trying to, you know, better sales, do whatever, make the easy money is what it feels like. Uh, and unfortunately, I just think that's a really bad way, a very poor way to handle that situation. Um, I do really, really feel bad for game stores right now because they seem to just be getting crapped on uh, as far as magic stuff goes. There's there's very little in it for them to actually make money off of uh, selling magic product, especially sealed magic product. It just doesn't seem to be there. So, uh, bad move in my opinion on Wizards End. I feel like, again, everybody seems to be in agreement on this one, so I really have no clue what they were thinking. Uh, aside from, I guess they were just trying to make a quick buck. Uh, which is really sad, uh, unfortunately, for Wizards, that it it seems like their decision-making has gotten worse and worse over the years, and this just seems to be the next step, uh, unfortunately. So we will see what happens, uh, but of course, I just want to keep you guys updated on that. Uh, if I learn more, or if things progress and this becomes a bigger issue, uh, we'll bring it up on another weekly ramble and go a little bit more into detail. I'm not going into detail, partially because... This has been harped on for a while now. We're a little bit late to this party, so uh, just to let you guys know. But uh, two more things that I want to talk about. Uh, cube building. Uh, so 
As you guys may know, if you've stuck, if you've been around for a while, you probably know uh, one of my favorite ways to play the game is cube. Uh, I absolutely love uh, sitting down with a bunch of friends and cube drafting, uh, doing a sealed pool from a cube, doing something really, really special, and getting to play with the most powerful cards in the game, theoretically. Uh, at least that's our goal with it. So, uh, obviously cubes don't necessarily have to be the most powerful cards, they can be literally anything you want, which is great. Uh, I think that's part of the appeal behind a cube. Uh, but, I finally uh, got the motivation to sit down and start putting the cube back together. Uh, which it hasn't been together for quite a while. Uh, unfortunately, something you guys may not realize, I don't know, uh, if you're a YouTuber you probably have figured this out. When you start making content on a particular product, uh, in this case Magic, where you sit down, it's a game, right? You sit down and you play the game, you get very significantly less time to actually sit down and play the game because you're making content on the game. Uh, which sounds a little backwards, I know, because, you know, you'd think, well, we need to play test, so we need to do all this stuff, and we certainly do, uh, and we certainly sit down and do that on our own a lot, but Will and I don't really get to sit down and just play Magic that much. The first time we did in a while uh, was actually with these 7th edition boxes back here, uh, where, or the theme deck, excuse me, where we just were, like, kind of doing a chill night, and we thought it'd be really fun to sit down and play with these decks, even though they're terrible decks. It was just fun to sit down and do that. So, uh, we did, and something, it, it reminded me of cubing, it reminded me of just sitting down, having a good time, uh, and, and playing Magic again. <laughs> so, cube building, uh, is something that I'm very fond of. I brought this up for two reasons. One, it may be that we'll see content on that cube, uh, fairly soon. I'm not going to say it's going to be anything, you know, extravagant or anything like that. It may even just be a podcast episode. Uh, but uh, I do love Cube, and it's something that uh, we've used on the channel before as a content stream. Uh, and so we, we will probably revisit that at some point, with the intention even of doing maybe a Versus series kind of video where Will and I sit down and Winston draft a Cube uh, and then see where that goes. So... We'll see what happens, but just be on the lookout. Uh, queue building is always fun, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. The other thing is that I wanted to put this question to you guys and say, if you're interested uh, in how to build a cube, or if there's something that you have a question about when it comes to cubing, uh, let us know. Because if you guys, if we find that you guys are interested in that, we'll actually do videos focused a little bit more on cube, even just as one-off videos, where uh, you know we'll, we can do something like how to build a cube. Obviously, there are tons of videos out there on that, uh, but sometimes it's nice to get a different perspective, and so if you guys want that, we're happy to provide it. Uh, and speaking in line of other videos, this is kind of the last point I wanted to talk about that I've already kind of harped on the last two episodes of uh, the Ramble series, but deck techs. Uh, we released two standard deck techs this week. Uh, one on Saturday, a Sultai midrange deck, uh, and then one, I believe, on Tuesday, which was Is It Spells. Both decks were awesome, by the way. You should definitely check those out. Uh, if nothing else, play test with them and enjoy them because they are a lot of fun. Um, but we were really like, the, I'm not a standard player, I've harped on this before, uh, but like this standard environment seems pretty exciting to me because again, it's Ravnica, I love Ravnica, uh, there's nostalgia there, but also I feel like this is going to be a really fun standard environment where hopefully a lot more things are viable and not just mono red. <laughs> um, and so standard, or uh, excuse me, Soul Time Midrange was the first thing that popped into my head as a deck I was interested in. I found a list off of Star City Games uh, that uh, Brad Nelson, I believe, put together. Uh, did some research on it before doing the video, uh, and just really, really enjoyed putting that together. You guys also seem to love that video. It became like our most viewed, it's our second most viewed video that we've got, actually. Uh, so thank you guys for the support. Uh, but we want to continue down that road and do more stuff like that, because obviously you guys enjoy it. Uh, hence the Is It Spells deck, uh, which you guys still seem to really, really enjoy. And so um, I think... You know, we, we've got a way to do that that doesn't take up too much time, because obviously we've got tons of other videos that we do every single week, um, and while Will does most of the writing for the podcast, I do most of the editing and like the video creation stuff, uh, and so it does get to be a lot, occasionally. Uh, and so it's within, you know, whatever time period I can, but I do plan to continue doing some deck texts that hopefully you guys continue to enjoy. Uh, not necessarily all standard, sometimes we'll jump into modern or we'll jump into popper even, or even commander. 
uh, although that seems like a, a whole other thing. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. Uh, deck techs are going to be something that I think we bring back a little bit more, uh, especially now that we've eased the editing process on those just a little bit uh, to make them a little less daunting uh, to actually create. So just be on the lookout. Uh, if you, of course, if you have deck suggestions, please, please let us know in the comment section below uh, because we would be more than happy to actually take a look at them. And if we enjoy them, uh, we'd love to make a video on it. So that way we can share it to everybody. Uh, but I think that's going to be it. Uh, again, please make sure to enter the Guilds of Ravnica giveaway going on right now. Uh, winner will be chosen on Monday. All you have to do is sub, comment on any video with GRN giveaway. Uh, hashtag GRN giveaway. Super, super easy. Uh, and you could win a free Guilds of Ravnica bundle. So all good things there. Uh, but with that, I'm going to get out here. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, make sure to subscribe. Stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But... I will see you guys in the next weekly ramble video. See you guys.